Hello, my name is Alex Emin, and today I'm going to be talking about some exercises that are going to increase your muscular strength and endurance and help improve overall fitness. In a supine position, you are going to raise yourself from a 130 degree angle to about a 90 degree angle with your feet planted, shoulders width apart. The progression of this exercise is raising one leg. This gives you less stability while you are doing the exercise and challenges your core more. The regression of this exercise is going to be assistance by someone holding your feet. This makes the exercise easier because you do not have to stabilize yourself as much. Standing in a bilateral position, feet shoulders width apart, you are going to do a squat holding a kettlebell. Upon raising from the squat, you are going to rotate from left to right or right to left to complete one rep. The kettlebell should be held at chest level. The progression of this exercise is going to be that after you complete the squat, you're going to lower the weight to the ground, creating a more dynamic range of motion and targeting the obliques more. Knees should be slightly bent at start of squat and should not lock. To regress this exercise, you're going to be in a kneeling stance with your toes tucked. You're going to do the same thoracic trunk rotation, kettlebell at the same height. You start this exercise in a bilateral stance with your feet or shoulders width apart. You are going to raise your leg and arm contralaterally and reach outward with both. A regression of this exercise is when doing the hinge, you keep both arms at each side, giving you greater stability and making the return to baseline easier. The progression of this exercise is to raise both arms when doing the hip hinge. This makes the exercise more difficult because you have to use your glutes more and your hamstrings more to stabilize yourself. This next exercise is called a goblet squat. Holding a dumbbell a few inches beneath your chin, you are going to bend your knees until your knee dips down to touch the ground. The regression of this exercise is going to be a standing bilateral stance squat. Your feet should be a shoulders width apart. You your knees should be slightly bent before doing the squat and should not lock upon returning from the squat. The progression of this exercise is adding a lunge. This makes the exercise more difficult because you are adding the need for more motor skills and making the exercise more dynamic. Starting in a bilateral stance, you are walking forward and allowing your back knee to come to contact with the ground. To do the overhead press, you're going to start in a bilateral stance with your feet shoulders width apart. You want to make sure your knees are slightly bent and that they're not locking. You are going to push each dumbbell above your head simultaneously in a vertical motion. The progression of this exercise is to do the overhead press single leg in a unilateral stance. You are going to raise one leg and continue to do the press exactly like before. This makes the exercise more difficult because you have less stability. The regression of this exercise is to do the exercise in a kneeling split stance, giving you a greater base and more stability. Toes must be tucked. The final exercise is a pull up. This exercise calls for you to pull your body upward, not allow your arms to lock, and to use your core to stabilize your legs, not allowing them to swing. A regression of the pull-up is a lat pull-down. This exercise requires you to use a machine, however you are targeting the same muscle groups. A progression of this exercise is having your knees and legs at a 90 degree angle. This is going to make the exercise harder because now you have to use your core much more to stabilize.